In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the arc length of a parametric function. So let's say that x is a function of t, and also that y is a function of t. And let's say that f prime and g prime, they're continuous on the interval alpha to beta, where t is restricted between alpha and beta. Another requirement is that the curve can only be transversed once as t increases. So if those conditions are met, then the arc length is the integral from alpha to beta of the square root of dx over dt squared plus dy over dt squared. So let's work on an example problem. So let's say that x is equal to 2 plus 6t squared, and y is equal to 5 plus 4t cubed. And let's say t is restricted between 0 and the square root of 8. So go ahead and find the arc length from 0 to the square root of 8. Feel free to pause the video. Now the first thing we need to do is calculate or determine a function for dx dt and dy dt. So dx over dt is going to be 6 times 2t, which is 12t. Now, let's do the same for dy dt. The derivative of 5 is 0, and the derivative of t to the third power is 3t squared. So dy dt is going to be 12t squared. So now we can determine the arc length using this formula. So it's the integral from alpha to beta of the square root of dx dt squared, which is 12t, plus dy over dt squared, which is 12t squared squared. Now alpha is 0, and beta is the square root of 8. So what can we do to evaluate this integral? Let's begin by simplifying it. 12 squared is 144, so we're going to have 144t squared. And 12t squared squared, that's going to be 144. And t squared squared is t to the fourth power. So what do you think we need to do at this point? We need to factor out the greatest common factor inside the square root. And so that's going to be 144 t squared. If we take that out, we're going to be left with 1 plus t squared. So now at this point, we can separate this into two radical expressions. The square root of 144 is 12, and the square root of t squared is just t. So we're going to have 12 t times this. So how can we integrate this expression? What techniques can we use? I would recommend u substitution. If we set u equal to 1 plus t squared, du is going to be 2t times dt. So solving for dt, that's going to be du over 2t. So we're going to have the integral of 12t times the square root of u and dt can be replaced with du over 2t. So we can cancel t. And we need to change the limits of integration. So keep in mind, t varied from 0 to the square root of 8. So let's plug in 0 into this expression. So replacing t with 0, we're going to have 1 plus 0 squared, which is 1 and then replacing t with the square root of 8. The square root of 8 squared is just 8, so 1 plus 8 is 9. So u is between 1 and 9. Now 12 divided by 2 is 6, and we can move that to the front. So this is 6 times the integral from 1 to 9, the square root of u, which is u to the 1 half, du. Now let's use the power rule. 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. 
And instead of dividing it by 3 over 2, we're going to multiply it by 2 over 3. Now, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then times another 2, that's going to be 4. So this is equal to 4 times u raised to the 3 over 2, evaluated from 1 to 9. So if we plug in 9, it's going to be 9 to the 3 halves, and then minus 1 to the 3 halves. So what is 9 raised to the 3 over 2? This is the same as 9 raised to the 1 half, and raised to the 3rd power. 9 to the 1 half is the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. 3 to the 3rd power is 27. So therefore, 9 raised to the 3 over 2 is 27. And 27 minus 1 is 26. And 26 times 4 is 104. And that is the answer. That is the length of the arc as t increases from 0 to the square root of 8. So now let's work on another example. So let's say that x is equal to 9t squared and y is equal to 9t minus 3t to the third power. And let's say we want to find the length of the arc from 0 to 2. So go ahead and try this problem. Now the first thing I'm going to do is calculate or determine dx dt. dx dt is going to be 18t, and then I'm going to find dy dt, which is 9 minus 9t squared. So now let's go ahead and use the formula. So the arc length is going to be from alpha to beta, the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared. So using that formula, we're going to have the integral from 0 to 2 square root 18t squared plus now, for dy dt, let's simplify it. We can take out a 9, and so we'll have 1 minus t squared. It's better if we put it in that form, because it's going to be easy to find the square of that expression. Eighteen squared is 324. 9 squared is 81. And so we're going to have 81 times 1 minus t squared, squared. One minus t squared, squared is basically one minus t squared times one minus t squared. So if we FOIL this expression, one times one is one, and then we'll have one times negative t squared, and then this will give us negative t squared, and then plus t to the fourth. So that's 1 minus 2t squared plus t to the fourth. So we're going to have 81 times 1 minus 2t squared plus t to the fourth. So what we need to do at this point is distribute the 81. So it's going to be 81 minus 162 t squared plus 81 t to the fourth. Now let's combine like terms and put this in standard form. So this is 81 t to the fourth, 324 minus 162, that's positive 162. Now we need to take out an 81. So if we factor out the GCF, we're going to have t to the fourth, and then 162 divided by 81, that's 2. So plus 2t squared, and then plus 1.
Now at this point, because the 81 is multiplied by t to the fourth plus 2t squared plus 1, we can separate it into two radicals. Now what do you think we need to do at this point? What is our next step? Notice that we can factor t to the fourth plus 2t squared plus 1. The square root of 81 is 9. And we can factor it this way. It's t squared plus 1 times t squared plus 1. If you FOIL it, you're going to get this expression. It's a perfect square trinomial, so to speak. So we can write it as t squared plus 1 squared. And so the square root of t squared plus 1 squared, the square root and the square will cancel. And so we're going to have the integral from 0 to 2, 9 times t squared plus 1 dt. So let's go ahead and distribute the 9. Actually, let's move the 9 to the front. That's going to be a lot easier. And so this is what we now have. Now we can find the antiderivative of t squared, so that's t to the third divided by 3. And the antiderivative of 1 is t, so evaluate it from 0 to 2. So let's plug in 2. So it's going to be 2 to the third, which is 8, divided by 3, plus 2. And then we need to plug in 0. So 0 to the third is just 0 plus t, which is 0. So that whole thing is 0. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 3 times 8 is 24. And then 9 times 2 is 18. And then 24 plus 18, that's 42. So this is the length of the arc. And so that's it for this video.